now on Contemporary Craft Television, an exploration into breaking glass with sound. Exploring the fragility of glass throughout history, artisans have perfected the art of making glass, strengthening it and creating beautiful pieces that are less likely to break under pressure. Here is a short history of glass. I'm on an exploration to do the opposite. I intend to weaken the glass that I make and break it with the power of sound. In order to achieve this, I have to find out what type of glass has the clearest resonant frequency. I have experimented with four different types of handmade glass. Bullseye, float, gaffer and soda crystals. Here are some examples of the pieces I have made using float, bullseye and soda crystals. I have found that this glass is not viable. Its resonant frequency is dampened by its flat shape. My float examples are on the table in front of you and show the different top temperatures I fired them at and the water ball graphs next to them show their resonant frequencies. Here are some pictures of my gaffer glass pieces. I used gaffer glass because of its crystal content. I found different colours would alter the clearness of the resonant frequency of each piece. Sadly, the gaffer glass was too thick and uneven for sound breaking. I decided I would use blown glass and went to visit Tim Casey in Cornwall to get a piece done. Here is my final blown piece. It is equally even with a high crystal content, but the thickness of the glass means it wouldn't break under the pressure of sound without high cost speaker systems that I don't have. So I brought some thin wine glasses with 24% crystal in them to start my experiments. Here is an example of pinging a glass to find the resonant frequency and here is the waterfall graph showing the different peaks and troughs. To get a clearer reading, rub your finger around the rim of the glass with a wet finger. In this waterfall diagram you can clearly see a difference between the one before and now. There is a clear high long frequency that I can read. To show you an example of how to record the resonant frequency of glass, here is a simple diagram. When you play the resonant frequency at the glass, it will emit a sound. This sound is recorded by the microphone, put back into the computer as the new resonant frequency, and then replayed at the glass again. If this frequency is correct, the paper on the rim will move. This is because the glass is vibrating. Here is a diagram that illustrates the pressure put on glass by sound. The things throughout my experiment that I have realised that glass need to work are as follows. 